Hi, this is Karthik. Welcome you all for the session. In this session, I'm going to teach you how to write an algorithm and draw a flow chart to add two numbers entered by a user. Once again, I repeat the topic, write an algorithm and draw a flow chart to add two numbers entered by a user. So I'm using WordPress in order to achieve the task. So we'll start writing the algorithm. Let us say step one. So will be start and step two. So we are in need of two variables in order to get the value and we are in need of another variable in order to store the result. So let us say declare A comma B and C. So in this declaration, we'll get the first value and we'll store it in A and we'll get the second value and store it in B. And the summation of A plus B will be stored in C. Now, step three. So what you have to do is you want to read, you want to get the values for A and B. Once values are available, we want to do the calculation, step four. C equal to A plus B. So good. Now we completed the calculation. Step five, we want to display the result. We can use display or print. Display C. And then step six is stop. Now we want to draw the flow chart. So I'm going for shapes. So in shapes, we'll be having flow chart where you can find start, just go for start, right click, at x, let's say start. And what is step two, declare. Yeah, this is, and this symbol is to get and display the value. So it's a parallel prime. So right click, at text, let us say, read A and B. And what is the next step? Calculate. So if you want to use calculate, what symbol you have to use? You have to use rectangle. So where is the rectangle? Look for it here it is. So right click, add text, let us say step four is equal to A plus B. I'm going to type the same C equal to A plus B. And then what is step five display? Again, for input and output, we want to use the same symbol, parallelogram. Again, going for shapes, and again, going for parallelogram. Draw it. Let us say right click, add text. Let us say display C. And then, what is the last step? Step number six, stop. So again, go to shapes, and then look for start and stop. And then right click, add x, let us say stop. Okay, now you want to make the flow. So again, go to shapes where you can see the line, just draw a line. Again, go to shapes, draw a line. Again, go to shapes, again a line. Again, go to shapes. Again, draw a line. Now we complete the flow. Again, I will repeat the steps. Today our task is we want to write an algorithm and draw a flow chart to add two numbers entered by user. So step one, we want to start the program and step two, we have to declare how many variables we are in need of. How many variables we are in need of? We need two variables. And third variable, we need to store the output, that is summation of A plus B. So I'm going to tell, I'm going to use three variables, namely A, B, and C. So we want to get the values for A and B from the user, and we are going to store the first value in A and second value in B. So the keyword is declare. And third, sorry, step number four. So once the values are available, we want to do the summation or calculation C equal to A plus B. We are going to display C, the result in step five, and step six is going to be the start. So here we want to start the program. This is a symbol you want to use. And if you want to read this, this is a parallelogram. And if you want to do the process or summation and 
this is our symbol and if you want to display a yeah, same parallelogram and stop the program i think you guys have enjoyed this video thanks for watching this video thank you